Hi guys, Larissa here, and I am so excited. I can't wait to show you guys this fabulous shrink plastic technique using all of your Sizzix dies. Um, I have been playing around with this shrink plastic all day, and I just can't get over how fabulous this stuff is. Um, I haven't ever really played around with it, so this was really my first time. Um, I actually helped my nieces um, with the project over Easter and brought the shrink plastic out, and we made these little butterflies for um, little bracelets um, for them. They got to color and cut the butterflies out, and then they got to heat them up um, using my heat gun, and then we sprayed them with glimmer mist, and they got to use them on bracelets that we made. Um, and they just had so much fun. They thought it was the coolest project ever, which um, I can't even imagine what I would have thought when I was a kid um, if I would have had something like that to do for a craft. So I was excited to get to do that with them. And then um, I wanted to come home and play with it even more because I couldn't get over how fabulous this stuff is. Um, so I want to share with you the little projects that I did. This is the little bird cage um, using the Sizzix die, and I melted it down, and it's about an, an inch and a half probably to two inches long um, and an inch wide. Um, and I went ahead and colored it and then traced around the inside of the openings with a pin marker pin and um, gave it some more dimension but how cool is that and then if you hang little um, little beads down from the bottom oh my goodness and then this is the little dinker bird look at it compared to the size of my thumb <laughs> and uh, I went ahead and used the Tim Holtz um, stamps to stamp on there and you can tell how fabulous and fine those words are. They just shrink right down with the plastic. How cool is that? Um, and then these are the little gears and I went ahead and shrunk those, all three of those down. Um, and I left them the plastic clear so that I can grunge these up and um, you can use acrylic paints, you can use the um, distress stains, you can use glimmer mist, you can use markers, you can use the fiber castell markers, you can use um, just about anything you want to paint these and distress these and color these and um, you can use shimmers and blings. Um, you can use anything and everything so far that I have tried stays on. You can even emboss these um, for texture, um, like heat emboss them, and um, it's just awesome. Um, this is the little square centerpiece um, to one of the frames that I cut out, and I used the Tim Holtz butterfly stamps. And then I used a Studio Calico Worn Star Stamp and shrunk it down and look how awesome! You can still see the detail of the butterflies and you can still read that up top. It says butterflies and moths. Um, and then this one I used Tim Holtz Script. This is the tag, the super traditional tag, Sizzix tag. And I used the Tim Holtz script stamp, and then I used the butterfly stamp, and then the butterfly trio stamp down at the bottom. And look how awesome that detail is. When you get super close, you can still see every single part of those butterflies. How cool is that? I am just so excited. And on the back of this one, I used the antique linen distress stain. Um, so that the colors on the back and it shows through kind of like an old tag. Um, this is the Baroque die and I went ahead and used the Movers and Shapers Love die 
and then I shrunk it down and look how freaking awesome that is. Is that not sweet? And it's maybe what one, two, three lengths of my finger. It's probably about an in two inches, I'd say. And but look, the letter shrunk down exactly. Um, oh, it's just awesome. And I painted this with, or I colored this with a marker, and then I covered it with glimmer mist. Um, and I just think it looks super cool. Um, this next one is the scallop frame, the scallop eyelet frame from Sizzix. And um, I shrunk this down, and it's about a two inch frame now. But how cute would that be over a little frame um, for a picture? Super, super cool. Um, this is the new Jenny Bolin stamp. And I stamped it out on the shrink plastic and then heat it, heated it. And look, you can still read all the numbers and all the lines and the 42 at the bottom. And then I went ahead and put wings over the top. Um, I just think it looks really cool. And then this is the Jenny Bolin butterfly. And I went ahead and colored it with markers. Um, and then I shrunk it. And then I put Glimmer Mist on it. Um, this is the dress form from the sew, sewing room die. Um, and then these are the buttons. And this is the little thin... Um, thread thimble or spool I guess is what it's called um, but I went ahead and stamped the um, the dress form before I shrunk it and then I shrunk it down and then on the buttons I stamped the I stamped them with the words um, and then I stained it with the antique linen stain. And look how awesome those buttons are going to be for little projects. And then that little spool you could wrap yarn around and, I mean, awesome. And then these are the little movers and shapers butterfly. Little butterflies, look how little those are. And I stamped those with the Tim Holtz script stamp. And then I colored those with the pink, um shimmers and blings and then there's the little jalopy and I stamped it with a little stamp and then I shrunk colored it with a marker and put some blings on it and then this is the little baroque die um, the center um, the little center piece that goes inside the big piece um, this is the centerpiece that came out of the big piece, so I made a little frame. Um, and then these are more of the movers and shapers butterflies. And I went ahead and stamped springtime at the bottom. And you can still read the words perfect. Um, and then I did the butterfly. These are the Hello Kitty daisies. And I just colored those and layered those. And then those are just the normal daisies. And I went ahead and stamped those with the Tim Holtz numbered stamps. And then I shrunk those down and colored those with the blings. And isn't that awesome? And then those are the flourishes. And I went ahead and um, punched them out and colored them with a black marker. And then heated them with my heat gun and they shrunk down to little bitty flourishes so oh my goodness I can't wait for you guys to try this it is the coolest thing ever with your dyes um, and I am going to show you exactly what it looks like um, when you go to shrink these down so that you can see uh, I don't know why my camera is acting up to focus it in here. Um, but these are 
Oh my goodness, I can't believe my camera is doing this. I might have to come back with another video to show you guys um, how to shrink these down um, and get my camera back into focus. So I will be back with another video to show you how to do this. Thanks for watching.